So we're back into it now. Mark Winterbottom leads the way. Oh, oh no, really... we're not into it. That's, that's a big accident. That's really big. So Greg Murphy's involved and one of the Techno Autosports cars. Now Murphy, I just spoke to. I caused it and we are done. So Murphy just said, I caused it and we're done. Are you so... all right? Uh, sort of. Sort of. So that is just on the way into the pit area. So it's a big, fast right-hand corner, about 220 kilometres an hour. And that's, that's Jonathan, Jonathan Webb getting out. That's the back of the Techno Commodore. And a huge amount of damage on the right-hand rear and a lot of damage to the left-hand front then of Murphy. That's a brand-new car, John O'Webb's. Was a brand-new car. I don't think he's going to be very happy here. It's going to be... Yeah, he's being nice, he's going oh, to help him he's, out. He's just uh, giving him a hand. I mean, obviously, it was a pretty nasty incident. Wow. So straight out on the first lap after the break, and this will show you what's happened. Oh, so no. Murph arrives in a hurry. Oh, wow. This has been coming for a long time, this sort of incident, unfortunately. It's this huge speed differential as everyone tries to find their space. You know, somebody's at full tilt, in this case, Greg Murphy, while someone else oh. is just dawdling along. And, uh, yeah, that, that's just very, very bad and sad to see. It's a million dollars worth of race cars there across those two vehicles. That is a heavy impact, really heavy impact. Like I said, hurry up and wait. Good thing is both drivers are OK, so another break in qualifying here. Back after this. The sore and sorry sight car 51, the Pepsi Max crew. Greg Murphy uh, back in the paddock on the back of the truck. And this is the reason why. Enormous impact. And that's going to be a lot of work for both of those cars. And Jonathan Webb's car is an absolute mess. Uh, just before Greg would step on the brake there, Mark and I were just looking at the data and the... Uh reference the speed in this area it's about 200 kilometers an hour before you put your foot on the brake going into that final corner it's very very quick and uh, takes your breath away when you see one like that the good news is both the boys are okay their cars though are going to take an enormous amount of work to turn them around I frankly doubt whether they could be done today but you never know yeah, the uh, Greg Murphy cars just arrived back at the back of the garage. I've had managed a bit of a sneak over, but obviously a lot of that damage is superficial. But when you get in there, some of the cage work, the structural, the stuff that really is the integrity of the car up the front there is kinked. Now, the guys are stick getting into it. They're gonna, I reckon they're going to have a crack, but I'd say it's a long shot.